Hello everyone, welcome back to Kids Club Online. Now, of course we start with singing and I know you've been making boats in craft and I thought how many songs can I think of to do with the sea and boats? I think I've got five. So let's see. Okay, starting off with a great big boat, in fact a great big box that floated on a flood. What song do you think this is? Father Noah, that's right. Okay, let's start with Father Noah. Father Noah, Father Noah was a godly man. Father Noah, Father Noah followed God's command. God told Noah that he should build an ark of cypress wood. Noah built it big and strong and just as God had planned. Father Noah, Father Noah was a godly man. Father Noah, Father Noah followed God's command. When the rain began to fall, Noah gave the final call. Animals came two by two, dress just as God had planned. Father Noah, Father Noah was a godly man. Father Noah, Father Noah followed God's command. When the flooding finally stopped, landed on a mountain top. Birds and beasts then left the ark, was just as God had planned. Okay, so while we're thinking about all that deep water, let's have a couple of songs about the sea. We'll start off, stand up, get some exercise with Wide, Wide as the Ocean, all right? How far? How wide can you stretch? You can't stretch as far as me. Right, why wide is the ocean? fish that swim and the octopus what else did we have <gasps> hungry shark and the tiny do you remember what this was tiny shrimp and the big blue whale and I still haven't got an action for big blue whales hope you've got one okay who made the deep blue sea who made the deep blue sea the deep blue the deep blue sea who made the deep blue sea almighty god who made the fish that swim the fish that swim the fish that swim who made the fish that swim almighty god who made the octopus the octopus the octopus who made the octopus, almighty God? Who made the hungry shark, the hungry shark, the hungry shark? Who made the hungry shark, almighty God? Who made the tiny shrimps, the tiny shrimps, the tiny shrimps? Who made the tiny shrimps, almighty God? Who made the big blue whale, the big blue whale, the big blue whale? Who made the big blue whale, almighty God? Now, the next song is not really about boats because it's about someone who crossed the sea but didn't have a boat how did Moses cross the Red Sea 
Come on, let's find out. You ready to do all the actions? Because I can't do them. Because I'm sitting here with my guitar, but you can do them, can't you? Some of Jesus' friends had been fishermen. Their job was catching fish. But when they began to follow Jesus, they had a new job to do, didn't they? They had to go and tell people that Jesus could forgive their sins, that Jesus could save them. And we're going to interview someone who knows a lot about boats. Hello James, it's really good you could join us today for Kids Club Online. Hello Sheila. Hello boys and girls. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're having a great time at the Kids Club. I'm sure you are. Even although you're not able to come to the church, it's wonderful that uh, the Kids Club's been able to keep going like this. And I know lots of people are working hard to make it work and that you're getting great packs and stuff that you're working on as well. So I know that uh, you've been enjoying that. So James, you grew up by the seaside, didn't you? That must have been lovely. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit about when you were a boy? Yeah, that's right. Uh, Sheila, I grew up near the sea on the west coast of Scotland. In fact, everywhere I went, I could see sea. It was tremendous. And that's one of the things I miss about being down here because I always used to like walking by the beach and by the sea. Well, the children at Kids Club are doing some craft about boats this week and we hope that you could tell us a little bit about the boats that you knew when you grew up, James. Everywhere you went, you could see boats, you know, all kinds of different boats. In fact, when I was a boy, I think about maybe eight years old, the Queenie, the Queenie two went through there, the Queen Elizabeth, uh, the Queen's ship. And I remember we were all gathered to watch that and to see it, it was exciting yeah, watching the big uh, ship come through. Wow, that must have been amazing. And what about other boats? Were there small boats around and fishing boats and things like that? There were also lots of different boats, sailing boats, uh, rowing boats. In fact, I remember when I was in school, our teacher used to take us out on sailing lessons when I was in primary school. Then there were rowing boats, boats without boards. That sounds great. And James, when you were a boy, did you ever own a boat? Uh, when I was probably about 10 years old, uh, a friend and I, we, we made a raft and it was made out of oil drums. There were two oil drums at the back and there was an oil drum at the front. And we had nailed together wood and it was like a rectangle. And then we had roped it on to the oil drums. And we made our own paddles as well with brush handles and then we cut out like oar shapes for the bottom for the paddles. Uh, and you know, it worked, it worked. We never took it out on the high sea, but there was a lagoon that we kept it in and uh, the tide would go out and come in. And when the tide came in, it was nice. The raft would just float and we would take it out there. We also built like a harbor for it, a small pier. And it was all made out of stones. We had made that. And there's still bits of that I can see when I go walking that way, when I go back. And we used to tie it up there. So that was really exciting uh, as well. Oh, that's lovely, James. Well, I know when you grew up and you left school, you also went and worked on boats, didn't you? Could you tell us a little about that? Yeah, that's right, Sheila. I did. I worked with boats. When I left school, I did various things, but I, I worked on fishing boats as well. 
there are different kinds of fishing boats. There were boats that would go out early morning and then come back towards the evening. They were called creelers or uh, creel boats. And then there were boats called trawlers. And when I worked on a trawler, we would go away for a week at a time, five days. We would leave about maybe two o'clock in the morning on a Monday morning. And we would come back late on a Friday and we would uh, we would live on the boat for a week. We would um, sleep on the boat. We would cook on the boat. And sometimes we would come into a harbour somewhere and we would land our catch. That was somebody would come and collect it and they would take it off to a factory somewhere. But sometimes we would ice it. We, we had ice down below in the holds of the boats and we would ice the prawns that we were fishing for, our shellfish. And there were also other fish that we would have on board, monkfish or haddock, and we would ice them and keep them for a couple of days and then land them again when we came in uh, ashore again. That sounds like very hard work, doesn't it? Afterwards, I know you went to join the crew of a very special ship called the Logos II. Can you tell us why you wanted to work on that ship and what was so special about it? That's right, Sheila. Yeah, I did. A, I joined a, a special boat, a special ship called the Logos II. And uh, I was on board that ship for two years. It was a very special ship because it was a missionary ship. It was a ship that traveled around the world telling people in different places uh, the good news about Jesus Christ, the gospel, and how people could know God and uh, come to know Jesus as their Lord and as their personal saviour. Now that was a great message. And James, what was your job when you were on the Logos too? I was able to do two things on that ship. I was able to work as a, as a sailor, as a seaman, and that involved when the ship would be sailing. I'd be up on the bridge steering at times. And, uh, but it also meant that I could tell people about the Lord Jesus Christ. That, that was a great experience for me. Uh, living on this ship for two years with people from all over the world. When I was on board this ship, there were people from 37 different countries who had come to work and to work together to share the good news of Jesus Christ uh, with uh, people wherever we went. Uh, and when I was on board the ship, I traveled to different places. I spent a year in Europe, traveling around different places in Europe. And then we went across to the Caribbean, and that was wonderful uh, there to see the beauty of the Caribbean and uh, these wonderful blue waters. And we spent a lot of time there telling different people about Jesus. I just thought, James, it gave you a chance to be just like we sang about in Fishers of Men. First of all, you were out catching fish. And then you had a chance to go and tell people about the Lord Jesus. So that's wonderful, isn't it? It was exciting to see what God was doing in people's lives. Thousands of people used to come to the ship. We had a big library on board. Uh, uh, well, it was a bookshop. We would sell books, but really, really cheaply. And people would come to buy those books. Sometimes there were queues of people, uh, up to a thousand people standing outside waiting to come on board the ship so that was really really an exciting time. I don't know if you've seen any of Kids Club Online this term James but we've been looking at wonderful design in the things that God's made and you must have seen loads of things when you were traveling on the Logos too. Do you have a favorite one that you remember that you saw? Yes that's right. Um, Sheila I did see many amazing things of God's creation when I was uh, on board the ship. You know, I saw palm trees. Now, you might think they're not very special, but I, I had a coconut taken from a tree uh, for me and uh, somebody cut it open with a big machete and I was able to drink this coconut milk. And even although the weather was so hot, the coconut milk was nice and cool because it was so well shaded in a big, big shell. Some of the amazing things of God's creation that I saw, I was in a place called Bonaire and I went snorkeling uh, one day there with uh, an American family that I had met when I was in a church one Sunday and I went snorkeling with them they knew all the best places on the island and they had all this fancy snorkeling equipment 
Uh, and I just remember uh, the beautiful, beautiful fish uh, that were there. You know, when you look out on the sea, it, it's very beautiful, but you can just see water or boats on it, and that's lovely as well. But to get under the water and to see the amazing fish, it, it just reminded me of how tremendous God is and all the wonderful things that he's made. And some of them, uh, we just don't always see them. I'm sure you've all seen on TV fish and things underwater. But to be right beside them and to see them so closely was really, really special uh, and, and wonderful. So beautiful lands, uh, different landscapes, all kinds of things. And hearing the different languages that people speak and, and knowing that that's all from God. And of course, tasting all the different foods. They were amazing, different foods. <laughs> Some of them weren't so amazing, but don't say too much about that. But it, it was a wonderful time. And I'm thankful to God that he was able to use my skills uh, uh, as a sailor to work on that ship, but also at the same time to tell people about the Lord Jesus. Oh, thanks so much, James, for letting me interview you for Kids Club Online. And it's been great. It's been great to see you back at Kids Club. Oh, well, thanks very much. It's been great to answer your question, Sheila. Thank you for asking me. And... Uh, I hope you have a great time at the, uh, at the club tonight, boys and girls. Take care for now. God bless you. Right, game time. Who's ready to play a game of beans with me? You ready for the beans? Let's practice. Right, jelly beans. Um, string beans, long and thin, like this. Broad beans, broad like that. Jumping beans. Um, oh, French beans. Oh la la. And chili beans. Oh, perhaps we'll do this for chili beans. Okay. I probably remember another bean halfway through. But let's have a go with those ones. Oh, I've remembered it already. Baked beans. Oh, wiping the sweat off that bean's brow because they're so hot. Oh, that's baked beans. Right, are you ready? Let's get ready for some fast bean work. Broad beans, French beans, oh la la, chili beans, brrr, jelly beans, woo, French beans, oh la la, jumping beans, French beans, oh la la, broad beans, uh, chili beans, brrr, baked beans, oh, jumping beans, broad beans, jumping beans again, French beans, oh la la, string beans, long and thin, French beans, oh la la, we have lots of French beans, aren't we? Baked beans, oh, chili beans, brrr, baked beans. Oh, broad beans, jumping beans, French beans, oh la la, broad beans, broad beans, string beans, broad beans, string beans, broad beans, jumping beans, French beans, oh la la, I forgot what they are, chili beans, chili beans, uh, French beans again, oh la la, broad beans, string beans, broad beans, string beans, jumping beans, French beans, oh la la, String beans, long and thin. Baked beans, Ooh. chili beans, Ooh. oh, jelly beans. We haven't been jelly beans much today, have we? Jelly beans, Ooh. French beans again. Oh la la, broad beans, jumping beans, broad beans, jumping beans, broad beans, jumping beans, French beans, oh la la, chili beans, Ooh. jelly beans, Ooh. I like that one. Should we do that again? Jelly beans, Ooh. chili beans. Ooh. Baked beans, Ooh, broad beans, jumping beans, French beans, oh la la, broad beans, chili beans, Brrr. broad beans, baked beans, oh, jelly, jelly beans, Ooh. chili beans, Brrr. jelly beans, Ooh. broad beans, and jumping beans, and broad beans, and baked beans, Ooh. and broad beans, and jelly beans, Ooh. oh, you're getting good at this, aren't you? Oh, and I'm getting tired. Let's have one more go. And then after that, you'll have to do beans yourself. You ready? Right, one, two, three. See how fast we can go. How fast I can go. I know you can go fast. Right. Broad beans, string beans, baked beans, chili beans, chili beans, French beans, oh la la, broad beans, jumping beans, string beans, uh, broad beans, 
and jumping beans and chili beans brrr, jelly beans brrr, and baked beans oh, and broad beans and baked beans brrr, and jelly beans brrr, and chili beans brrr, and baked beans brrr, and chili beans brrr, it's going hot and cold isn't it and baked beans and chili beans again and broad beans and string beans and broad beans and string beans and broad beans and jelly beans and chili beans and french beans oh la la and broad beans and string beans and jelly beans oh i think that's enough beans from me you can play carry on playing beans if you want to can't you but we finished for this week except to say that if you've sent pictures in they'll be at the end of today's program and if you haven't then you can send in pictures of your craft work or any of the colouring that you've done for this week and we'll show them at the end of next week. See you again. Bye.